going out of sight with my man Rick Hancock. Hey, hey. And we're talking about things to do. Dude. A lot of people say you spend so oh, much time uh, online. Isolated. But not use connected. that online to go out. Go out, meet other people who share similar interests with you. Meetup is really an old school website. It was founded in 2001. Wow, 2001. You said you've been it, a fan it, of this website for, for a years. long time. Because, you know, a couple of years ago, especially during the 2008 political campaign, all the candidates were using Meetup to try to connect their supporters in certain locations. So Meetup really became a valuable tool for Obama, for Clinton, for McCain, all the all the folks who are running for president, and they're using them again. So Meetup, for, if you're interested in politics, but it's very simple to use, very simple concept. Yeah, I put in Hartford, Connecticut, and so if you don't have any specific interest, there's a lot of different things going so on. So you can just put it in a location and yep. find which groups are Our meeting, meeting where and to discuss and hang yeah, out and exactly. talk about what. Or you can start your own Meetup group. There you, you go. Know, if you have, but Ping pong this year in the ping pong Weathersfield. There's 26 people attending the weekly co-ed doubles ping pong. Nothing more exciting than, than ping, ping pong, pong, especially co-ed ping pong. I mean, hey, come on. And so, the full moon margarita madness. Exactly. Now here's a new one. So a little going a little more high tech. I'm gonna pull up my iPad. Since a lot of people use their mobile devices, here's a new one I found. It's called Highlight, and basically it's a geolocation uh, service where basically you you know. If you're willing to let other people know where you are, you can just like say, okay, I'm here. This is what I like to do. Let's hang out. It can be very social. It could be from knitting. It could right. be from crocheting. It could be kicking a soccer ball around. I like so, the drawings. Yeah, the drawings. Hey, hey well, come on now. This oh, is really it's cool. easy? It's very easy to do. And then you can invite... <laughs> they look like uh, what my drawings would look in, like. Invite your other friends to, uh, to join the fun. Now, remember in the last segment, we were talking about Pinterest, and I was one of the first people to kind of jump in there and, and play Try around it with it. Yeah. Wasn't really sure. Now, here's something starting by a college student called Hyphos, basically the same thing, and it's in beta right now for UConn and UCLA students. Since we have a couple of folks here from, from UConn, we were able to kind of get in and check it out. And basically, it's discover new interests, meet like-minded people, and see what's outside. So again, the focus is to get you outside in front of the computer, get you away from text messaging, so you use those tools, but then you go out and you right. meet people. So this is something that you might want to keep an eye on down the road, because again, unless you go to the University of California in Los Angeles or the University of Connecticut, <laughs> you can't get in and play around with right. this. Right. And you know, Valentine's Day right around the corner, exactly. so meet up with a group or you, you never right. know. That's right. I make a love connection. And you can find all these websites at our, our website. website. CTNow.com slash Rick. Slash Rick. Slash Rick. Thanks, Rick. <laughs>